guys and welcome 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 back to my channel i am officially doing my life update that i have promised you guys i battled with whether or not i wanted to do this in like a q a um version which is what i always always do but i feel like let me own the my narrative for this particular video because i know a lot of people have so many questions that are all over the place but i feel like I want to first give you guys an idea of like what's been going on in my life and you know um with the months that I haven't been on YouTube just like my like changes that have happened in my life and just my outlook on life so I was like you know what let me just come here and just literally sit and talk to you guys like you're my besties okay also I'm going to be making this sort of like a mukbang I did not intend to do that but guys I'm literally eating so I might as well eat while I do this life update, okay? Because I haven't eaten. Last night, I was at work from 4 to from four to 2 a.m. And all I had was like a handful of Doritos and a Red Bull. So, no. I'm having noodles with a Russian, okay? And I am having all of this with a... Zero. These are the best noodles, by the way, because it's the Indomie spicy ones. And honey, those are the best. So I'm just going to take a bite. Okay. So So I'm going to start with my life update and I'm literally going to go in the order of like how my life has been and give you guys like uh, the tea. Okay. There have been so many ups and so many downs. I'm just going to literally backtrack to where I started this year and where I am now and just like the little changes that have happened. So I actually started this year on quite a high note um i was really starting to settle well into my new job that you guys know about i had um gotten my driver's license yeah and like i really started the, the year on a high i don't know if you guys remember when i shot the vlog in december and i spent christmas alone so for the most part i really started this year quite well i went to cape town to go see my cousin yeah it was a very blissful exciting first three four months of the year um i was really at ease um i was financially in a really good place i was um um starting to cultivate little habits of wanting to be a better version of myself so i hadn't really gotten my process on lock but i was starting to become intentional about wanting to be healthier and stuff like that and that's when i hopped onto my medical weight loss jay like i really started the year on like a really high like a very you know let's go girl type of thing and then i think june hit and it's funny because june is always like very depressive for me hmm <laughs> like june always rocks me um it seems yeah it seems for the past what two three years mid like june is always like you know so that happened where i feel like i felt like i was really starting to lose grip of you know what was going on in my life and around that time there i was like i don't want to use the word forcing but like i was hitting this like idea of a deadline where it was like we said we we're gonna do this we said we we're gonna do that so like why it's not happening like i started being so anxious and so jay like i literally started spilling over if i can say being like i was holding things together and things were just falling apart and i was just trying to catch up and then it just all collapsed in a sense and i don't think i really fell apart in the sense that i wasn't like a like a mess but i remember when the when i really sat down and i was like okay i'm looking at everything uh i think mimi had gotten extremely sick um she just turned 
red all over her body. Like she just got this random rash. Work was starting to be on my, you know, you know, on my back. My relationship started being like super rocky. And then everything just stopped. And um, I was even in the, you know what? It's 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 hard to talk about this because I wanted it so much, but I was literally even in the process of you know purchasing a car, and then nothing was just working out. Like it wasn't working out, and it started driving me insane to the point where my response to everything just was so anxious. Like I was so anxious. Like oh, Nati, there's there's the worst behind everything. And I really just got on the standstill and I just stopped every single thing. I remember I went home and just being home always sort of like resets my mind and stuff like that. But after going home, I really sat down and was like, okay, uh, okay. And the interesting thing is that... <coughs> I am a spiritually connected person. It is not my first rodeo with, you know, life throwing curveballs at me. It's not my first rodeo when, you know, I'm losing people. I'm disconnecting with people. I feel like people are not understanding me. Um, I feel like everything is just becoming so negative. It, it's not my first rodeo. And I know when that happens, you know, God is trying to do something. So, not to even sound like like cheesy, but I really had to sit down and like reflect with God and stop and then, you know, get going. So, I've literally now been in this place where I literally worry about nothing. I literally worry about nothing. Like, guys, it could be burning here, but I just worry about nothing. And you, you would be surprised, guys, how many times we as adults just go on in life going through the worst but you don't even look like it you don't even you don't even look like it so the level of peace that god has given me right now it doesn't even like it literally doesn't make sense i worry about absolutely nothing even though i know that there are things that i'm working on but i think that's just the process of trusting god and just um just just trusting that his plans are for your good you know he's not here to harm you feel like no one has a perfect life. I feel like it's about Dalaman, guys. And when we are going to even the people that you see on Instagram that seem like they have perfect lives or whatever. Granted, those moments are beautiful and those moments are real and those moments they are deserving of. But like really no one has like a life that is always peaking and always fine and always what, what. Like you have to get tested. It won't mean like cow, cow, cow get tested. In life, in this life, yeah, boy. So I'm really, I'm really okay. So as you guys remember and know, I did start my medical weight loss journey, and I got on Saxenda and Ozempic. I lost like close to twenty kgs, and then I um now I've stopped the the medication. I haven't taken um the injections for what two months, and I've been able to still lose weight, maintain. Um, I haven't really been like as crazy because of like my life has been so busy right now, but we're going to get into that. So I haven't really been like pushing and working as hard as I was or have been for my weight loss journey. But I'm also quite impressed with how I'm able to, you know, have a very healthy relationship with food. I'm also able to stay active and strong. I look great. <laughs> you know, like I look great. I've gone down um like a, a weight like a what's this thing a weight size and you know what guys ne? with me saying that i've lost it i've lost a gene size and everything if i could give women advice like young women advice or, or women my age advice that's it if you have the ability and the will and most importantly, the desire to look your best in your late, in, in your mid to late 20s. Please prioritize that. Please prioritize that because if you in any way 
and I'm not saying no one um is ever insecure. Absolutely not. I understand that insecurity is just a part of like navigating this life. Like it happens to literally everybody. However, if you have what it takes to work on a part of yourself that you are feeling a consistent discomfort with, if there's any part of you that feels like, oh, if I could just uh, get this or achieve this or get better at this, please do it. Please do it. One of the things that I've come to learn is that achieving something is literally so closely attached to your confidence. If you can promise yourself to look a certain way or appear a certain way or have certain habits and you execute that and you finish what you've started, that is going to tell something to your brain that you are something special. Like you're literally going to feel unstoppable. And those are the things that I've come to learn from being active at the gym consistently and just pushing beyond the boundaries of, oh, I want to eat. Oh, I want to taste. Oh, people are eating. Oh, you know, beyond um, temporary pleasure. If you can cultivate discipline in any um, aspect of your life, you are going to feel very powerful and very strong. So me working on my body has really transformed how I think about myself and how I think I can get things done. Guys, no one put me in the city. Oh, I have a small waist. Oh, I feel snatched. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. But man, put me in the city. This is God. I'm ready to throw hands. Like I walk out of the gym feeling like, you know, you can't touch me. <laughs> so my biggest advice to you as a young woman please prioritize your appeal okay please if you can and if it is something that you want maybe it might not even have to be weight loss if you want to change how you dress if you want to start following a certain aesthetics i know in the aesthetics that i don't like obsessing over because they're so unified like everybody looks the same um but see it through if you want to be better in any aspect of your life see it through okay so yeah that's what so that's where i've been physically like i feel great and i feel like i'm only gonna get better like i feel like i'm only gonna get hotter and that is exciting me <laughs> okay and in terms of list in i mean since we're already talking about being hot we have to talk about boys okay so your girl is single your girl is single so i have gotten out of a three-year relationship my yeah i was in a relationship for three years i don't talk too much about like my relationships surprisingly even though people or oh, you guys would know there's someone there but yeah i'm out of a three-year relationship and you guys when you've been in a in a long term relationship and you're comfortable with the habits of that of that relationship, and you feel safe in that relationship, you feel you feel you enjoy the high and the ride of that relationship. When it ends, you first you first feel like you're in a blankness. Like I never I didn't cry after the breakup, but I was just like, oh. You know, like, oh, what what happens now? Like, what's on the outside of that? And I am not someone who's scared of being single, actually. Like, I never, I've never been someone who, who worries about, oh, I'm going to be single. I am a lover girl through and through. And I guess I also feel like, I also feel like there, there are good enough men out there still. So I'm not in a rush. And I don't want to waste myself with useless situationships and connections and things like that so i would rather see it through you know um even prior to the relationship that i was in i had spent two years single because i had been in a relationship for another two years but i'm not promising Sana, that i'm going to be single for a long time this time around i'm just saying like you know like i don't know i just love 
the protection and the security and the trust that it that comes with being in a relationship. I do want to have that, but I feel like I'm also stuck in this weird complex now where it's like, okay, I enjoy my singleness. I enjoy the career focused version of myself, but like, I also miss love. I also miss having fun. I also miss getting gifts. I'm, you know, like, you know, and everybody's in a freaking relationship. Like everybody around me is in a relationship. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've just been this young, sexy, single lady, you know, and you know, like, ugh, so now you have to be going through your DMs. Hey, oh, us, but ukona ukona moye, ukona moye umfano mote, oshela yo endi. Hey, hey, we are stressed about that because sex sale right now no uti ngi kome ni abona ma plome la imuva umuntu uya uya poshu ya sebenza uya shanga nisa ngazi uti endi jan ba tsengi ya shoti uti ukona moye ukona moye ba. So, so yeah guys um in terms of relationship that's been me i do have this like gut wrenching feeling that i'm not gonna be single for a long time um i'm gonna i'm gonna be happy and in a strong with a strong man i just have that idea in my head i think also because i I was in a relationship that was like like that where i was in a long-term relationship with a man that i trusted who was strong and i he had a vision and you know the leadership behind it you know just those qualities you know once i think once you experience those type of relationships you just know that there's more of it out there and even better you know like yeah i don't lose sleep about not being in a relationship um in in fact, I'm excited to explore the possibilities of, you know, a different kind of love. Yeah? Okay? <laughs> um, and now let's talk about career and motherhood. Because I don't want this video to be long. Because I can, guys, I'm a yapa. Y'all know this. I can go on and on and on and on. So, in terms of my career, I think that is my relationship right now. Like, my my career is my baby it is my baby. I have literally transformed the way I think when it comes to working. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, you don't work for your earthly masters, but you work hard because you have an inheritance from the Lord. I feel like I work hard. I've gotten to the point where I work hard now, not because um of like oh corporate is so hard or i'm competing with people i work hard because i have things to get god needs me to take some boxes so he can hand over what's what what belongs to me you know i've become so expectant when it comes to the promises that god has for me and I am willing to do the work, which is why you guys see me back on this platform. There are things that this platform owes me And that is why I'm here to put back in the work. So my career has really been speaking. Last night was a phenomenal night. Um, But maybe we'll get into that chat another time. But I'm really happy with my career. I can see myself being molded into the woman that I've always wanted to be. Like I have no anxiety in any space that I'm in. Give me a task and I will do it. Give me work and i will finish it and i will try my best to execute it as best as possible because it is my pride to produce quality that is the kind of person that i am at work i show up as my best because not i'm trying not because i'm trying to get a raise i'm trying to impress anyone but that is me that is my brand that is who i'm going to leave your institution as and walk into another institution as just that person or more so my brain frequency when it comes to working has literally changed and it's my world it's literally my world when it comes to my career i'm so excited i know that god is going to give me what belongs to me and i don't worry about that anymore you know yes sometimes i feel like ah i can't wait for it to happen but because of how much god has been pruning and refining me 
I'm excited about that journey also. Like I'm excited about the person that he's making me be, you know? I wasn't like this. Like the way that I speak right now, the authority that I carry, I was not like this. I I, wanna, I don't even want to lie, guys. I know for a fact that I was not this strong in myself, in the work that I can produce, in my potential. I knew it was there, but I was I didn't trust it enough. And guess what, Gesan? Now, don't play with me. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm just here to do, I feel like I have a purpose to serve and that purpose goes beyond my physical strength, my mental strength. It's beyond temporary gratification. Um, it's beyond envy and competition and jealousy. Um, I, I fully understand. Okay, maybe let me not say I fully understand, but I get the, 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 the story that God is writing when it comes to my life, which is why hardship does not intimidate me anymore. Um, I am a single mom. I am a single woman. I am, you know, a small town girl, guys, who's trying to figure it out in the city and establish herself in her career. Like, I fully understand every single obstacle that I've gone through has brought me here. And I'm comfortable, I'm happy. My ambitions and my desires, they make sense to me and only me. And I've found a lot of peace in that. That I wonder about the buzz we understand that you doing this for now and people mean and they were never meant to, you know, it's always been between me and God. But moreover, guys, um this life update, if there's anything you guys can take away because I didn't come here to tell you guys like how great my life has been or like or how depressed I've been or anything like that. Actually, no. Um my I think I'm pretty I'm thirteen. If there's anything that I can walk away uh with in this year is how much I've worked in myself. And I haven't do I haven't I haven't been doing it for any validation that is external. I've been doing it for myself, which is why I can stand firmly and say that I can see it, you know, because I well, I wasn't even waiting for other people to see it in me. It's I I live with it every day and I, I love it every day. So yeah, guys, I don't want to say too much. I've said a lot already. And I know that you guys are going to, you guys might still have other questions. And maybe we're going to do a follow-up Q&A um, for, you know, like a general base of what's been happening in my life. But that's where I've been giving it to for a good sum of 2024. And I am excited. You know, I'm, I think I'm very, very grateful for where I am. And I'm looking forward for to where I'm going. And I'm just going to keep it at that. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little life update. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.